Hey everyone, it's John back again with another food review, and today I am going to be trying the new KFC sandwich. You can get it in the regular or the spicy. I got it in the spicy. Now bear with me here. I know you want to see the review part, but I have to rant about something first. KFC offers uh, online ordering, either through a website or on the app. So I thought, it is cold out. I don't want to be waiting with my window down so long or in line uh, in the drive through for a long time. I just want to pull up and say, I made this order. It should be ready by now. Pick it up. Drive away. Seems like the purpose of a online order would be that. Convenience. Quickness. Because I ordered it so far in advance, it will be ready when I get there. Not so much for this KFC trip. Um, so it was about 10 till noon and I thought I'm gonna go out and try this. Let me see if I can order it online uh, before I get there and it'll be ready for me. So I did, they got the sandwich online, great. I get the spicy one and I got it in the big box because you get three sides and a drink and it comes out much cheaper than if you had bought those things individually, of course. So, get there. Uh, it, by the way, it says, this was 10 till noon. It said it should be ready at 12 after noon. So 12, 12 p.m. When I pull up to the, when, the uh, speaker box, the time is exactly 12, 12. They go through the whole pre-recorded spiel about, do you want uh, the new sandwich? Order it with fries. Talk, tell the person that's about to come on the thing. It's another thing I don't like pre-recorded drive up window messages just say welcome to wherever can i take your order what do you want that and let me start talking why delay this process longer why am i sitting here listening through this pre-recorded garbage if it's something you want put a picture of it on the menu i'm clearly driving i can clearly see i have nothing against blind people they're terrific. But if I'm driving through a drive through that means I have vision. I can see if there's a picture there. So have your new thing there on a picture. Have it on the menu. Don't waste 20 seconds of my time with this pre-recorded thing. Just come online and order and t tell me what, uh, ask me what I want. Anyway, so I say my name. I say I had an online order. And she says something really quick, which I interpreted to be, okay, come on. Which to me sounds like, okay, come on further into the, the drive through the window. So there's two cars ahead of me. So I wait for the two cars. Seems like both of them order fresh stuff because it's taking a while. So I finally get to the window set and they hear like six something change. They close the window and walk away. I'm like, I ordered online. So she opens the window again. She's like, six something. I'm like, I ordered online. And she's like, oh, come in. I'm like, come in? She's like, yeah, come in. I'm like, okay. So a lot of the drive through park in the parking lot, already major inconvenience there. If you said come in instead of come on and, and like make it, don't mumble it. Don't say it real fast. Make it clear that what you want me to do is park my car and come inside to pick up this order. But also, why? Why can't you hand me my online order through the window? It should be ready. It's at the time. It said it should be ready. Is there some weird KFC rule that says online orders can only be picked up in the inside? So now I have to go inside, touch all the door handles, Wait with other people that are already in there. Um, try to maintain a social distance as much as I can with other people waiting for their food. Anyway, now it's like 1220. I'm there. They have a sign that says, I'm going to order pick up here. And they have another line for the people ordering uh, new orders. So there's one guy waiting in that line. I walk over to the online pickup window. 
Lady comes up, goes to the person that's uh, ordering his food. He orders like a four piece something. Um, I'm looking around like, hey, look at me, I'm over here. And like, you have to crouch down to the hole in the window. Like, hey, I got an online order. And she's like, oh, that person's over there is taking care of you. I'm like, okay. It said they're taking care of you. I said it at the drive-up window. I said it at the pickup window. Now I'm saying in here, someone's working on it still. It's not ready. Someone's still working on it. She puts together the this new guy's full meal, gives it to him in a box. He says, thank you. He leaves. Very quick for that guy. I, however, am still waiting. Um, lady then goes to the back, comes back up and says, are you Jonathan? I'm like, yes, I'm here for my uh, online order. So she uh, finally starts putting food into into cups, all the sides that I got, all the, the fries and everything and the, filling up the drink, gives me my drink, which actually had been sitting there for a while. Um, then goes back to, to finish making my, uh, my meal that I ordered. So finally puts it in the bag, gives it to me. I check to make sure everything's in there. Of course, there's something missing. Like I or also ordered a, this, and she backs up. She looks up at the window. Uh, I guess there's like a video board up there that has the orders on it. And she realizes, yeah, I did order that. So she makes that fresh puts it in wraps it up by this time it's basically 12 30. what convenience is online ordering giving me if i order 10 till it tells me 12 after 10 i get there at 12 after and then 10 minutes of waiting the drive through line they tell me to come inside and then once i'm inside it's like another 10 minutes before my food is given to me and it's not even right. They have to make something else. Luckily, they had all the ingredients made and ready to make the other thing. It was just a matter of putting it all together. Anyway, sorry for that seven minute rant right there. You wanted to see this review. Let's get to the review. Here's the spicy new KFC sandwich. They used to have the, the Colonel's chicken sandwich. And now I think this is, they're calling it like the, the classic chicken sandwich. So it comes with pickles, if you get it uh, regular or if you get it spicy. And regular comes with mayo, it's just the regular mayo. And spicy comes with the spicy sauce, of course. Now, the chicken itself is the same regardless. This chicken itself is not spicy. The only difference is they either give you mayo or they give you a spicy sauce. Here we go, the new KFC spicy sandwich. Supposed to be pretty crispy. Let's go. The spicy sauce reminds me of like a, a creamy buffalo sauce. They do say these are premium pickles. I don't know if the pickles are any different. Sorry, I don't know if my head's been rubbing on the microphone. That might be pretty annoying to listen to. I don't know if the pickles are different for that they've changed it, but I know they're putting these same pickles on everything they have there. So if they change the pickles, they change the pickles for everything. And the bun is a brioche bun. It has a little bit of sweetness to it. Um. I don't remember, I think the, the kernel had like a, the kernel sandwich had like a sesame seed bun, if I'm not mistaken. The chicken has a nice crispiness to it, especially right around the perimeter on the edge. The pickles on these are good. They're, uh, they're pretty thick for fast food sandwich pickles. 
like I said, this sauce, it tastes very similar to like the creamy buffalo sauce. There's nothing special about the chicken itself. Like, if I had this back-to-back -back with their old chicken sandwich, the filet has no discernible difference. I think it's just as crispy. It's not any thicker. This is probably the thickest part that I've had in my sandwich. And you know, like, those Popeye's chicken sandwiches are just, like, real thick. Is it good? Yeah. I think this tastes great. I don't know if it's new. Like, what is new about this? You just, you just put a spicy sauce in the old one, you put on a different, you put on a brioche instead of a sesame seed bun. I feel like all these people, <clears throat> ever since Popeyes came out with their chicken sandwich that blew everyone away, they're all wanting to join this thing. And they keep on coming out with new chicken sandwiches. I think like Wendy's and McDonald's have each gone through like three or four different new chicken sandwiches since the Popeyes one came out. And really there's only two places, Popeyes and Chick-fil-A, that they haven't like said it's all new. They've like, I think Chick-fil-A just came out with a new spicy grilled sandwich. But it's still their regular grilled sandwich just with a spicy sauce on it and they make that clear it's not like they're doing a new crispy or fried chicken sandwich that has never changed it's the same thing Popeyes is not like new chicken sandwich but KFC they came out with a crunchy kernel one that was supposed to be their new entry and now they have their new other one just like their KFC sauce they just came out with the finger looking good sauce and now they have a new KFC sauce. It's just like you want to repackage the same thing but say new in front of it uh, to just reload the, the line of people curious enough to try it. And uh, frankly, I'm getting annoyed. It's a good sandwich, but it's just like the other one. Taste factor, out of 10, it's good. It's like an 8.5. There's not much that I would really say needs to be changed. Maybe some, if it was going to really compete with the Popeye's one, you'd match the, the condiments more. And you'd make the, the filet a bit bigger. There's nothing new or special about it. So overall, even though it's an 8.5 out of 10 for flavor, my experience wise today, both with the expectations I had for the newness of the sandwich and the service that was provided for me at this KFC, my whole experience brings it all the way down to a 4 out of 10. And that's just the truth, which is what I will bring to you every time I do a food review to you. You will hear the truth of my experience and my opinion, which can be, you know, not necessarily true or false because it's opinion, but the facts that I give you are true. Anyway, hope you enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. See you guys on the next one. Bye.